we were under the table and she was wearing a purple velour dress and I'll never forget it. This was all I was seeing and I thought to myself, oh my God, this is gonna be the last thing I see before I die. Hi, I'm Paul Rosenberg. Welcome to the Rogue Leadership Channel. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'm a consultant and a coach for Fortune 500 companies all over the globe. What is Rogue Leadership? It's really about doing the unconventional and simplifying things. More on that later. I'd like to take you back to where it all began and tell you a story. It's a spring day in San Francisco. I'm just about to walk outside and get my friend a triple latte diet with whipped cream on top. And as I look out the window, I see that the entire building is surrounded by police force and firemen. Now, no a normal person would watch from the window, but I decided to do something different. I decided to get real, real close to the action. So as I stepped outside, I noticed to the right of me, two policemen. I'm on the third floor, they're on the second floor. And I'm looking down at them, and suddenly they pull their guns out of their holsters. I'm like, oh my gosh, and they're screaming at somebody. And then the unthinkable happened. Both policemen, both of them were shot right in front of my eyes. Now at that moment, I did the only smart thing that anyone would do in my situation. I didn't go back into my office. I began running down the hallway like a chicken with my head cut off, screaming, looking for an open window. And I'm frantic, I'm trying everything. Nothing is open because everyone heard the gunshots and they locked their doors. And I'm running down the hallway, everything's closed. I'm getting more panicky and more panicky and I'm breathing heavily. And then suddenly I find myself for whatever reason on the second floor. So who's on the second floor? The gunman's on the second floor. Unbeknownst to me, there's a SWAT team coming down from the roof to the second floor and also coming up from the ground floor. So basically, there's the gunman, there's me, and there's a SWAT team. It's a Paul Rosenberg sandwich. And as I run down the hallway doing the same thing I did previously, I finally found an open door by the grace of God. And I busted in and I said, everybody down. And everybody's like, what, what, why? There's a gunman out there. They thought, oh my gosh, we thought it was firecrackers. I said, everybody get down. And we all dove down under the table. And this is a moment I'll never forget. As I dove under the table, I found in front of me a woman wearing a purple velour dress. And all I could see was her rear end. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is gonna be the last thing I see on earth. And in that moment of levity, all hell broke loose. The gunfire only lasted a minute, but it must have been hundreds of rounds. It felt like an eternity. It really felt like a war zone. And as I got up, I took a deep breath and walked outside and I saw the gunman um, being carried out. And that afternoon I was so shaken that I reached out to the one person I knew who would understand. And that's my twin brother, David. And I called him and I'm telling him the story and he's not reacting. I'm like, dude, did you just hear what I'm saying? And he asked me the strangest question. He said, Paul, he's in LA. I'm in San Francisco, same time zone. What time did this happen? I said, what do you mean, what time did it happen? There was dead silence. And he said in a trembling voice, at three o'clock, I was at my desk, he's a writer, and I was writing on a script. I was working on a script. And suddenly I began to sweat and my heart began to race and I had severe palpitations and I literally thought I was going to die. The hair on the back of my neck was standing up and I couldn't believe it. So later that afternoon, because of what had happened, I learned two things, and these are two key parts of rogue leadership. The first one is, I would never trust myself again to take action 
without at least pausing and making sure it was the right action. Because I responded immediately, I could have lost my life. That was a powerful lesson. The second most important lesson from that was the synchronicity I had with my brother. And a lot of people say, well, Paul, that's fine and dandy. You're, you know, you're twins, that's special. We're not special. I beg to differ. All of us have the capacity to connect like that, that powerful connection. And that connection is what also is a powerful fuel for leadership. And so those two things really shaped my thinking around rogue leadership. And that's what this channel is about. Every week, we're gonna take a look at the challenges facing leaders, be it too much data, be it decision-making, be it the market changing so rapidly. And they're out there looking for something to grab on. And they're looking for an advantage. And the series is really about looking at those solutions. It's about doing things differently. It's about being creative. And it's about going against the headwinds. And so I invite you to look at the channel and subscribe and give me your feedback. And thanks for coming with me on this journey.